Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's review, we're taking a look at a dragon figure. His name is Lucas Koch, and he's a German Falschemager from Monte Cassino, 1944. And at the top, you can see that this is a Gear Plus dragon figure, so you get a lot of cool equipment. And overall, this is a very interesting figure, a very hard one to get a hold of. It took me a long time, so I'm very excited to have this one in the collection at last. So let's jump right in and take a look at this box. So there is a really cool picture of a great figure. And on the side, you can see him in a different pose. Very nice. And then the back is some equipment listed. And you might be wondering why this figure comes with an MG Lafette mount when he doesn't have an MG42. Um, and that's because um, an interesting thing about this figure is that he has a counterpart um, whose name is Gustav Bayer, and that is another Falzer Jaeger figure who comes with an M MG42, who is also from Monte Cassino. So they're kind of, they go hand in hand, and I'm not really sure why Dragon didn't just do a, a two-set pack. Um, kind of sneaky on their part, maybe to get a little more money, I'm, I don't know, um, but I'm not complaining. I think it's an interesting idea. Um, and both figures definitely by themselves can stand alone. So I'm not complaining by any means. It's just an interesting concept. Um, so yeah, he has a counterpart and I'll definitely have to pick up that one in the future. All right, well, that is the box. Let me take out the figure now for you. All right, guys, so here is Lucas. This is a fantastic dragon figure, a really nice one. And if I failed to mention, uh, the year this one was released was in 2009. All right, so a great looking figure. I really like this one. For starters, let's take a look at his FG-42, which I've always loved these a lot. Very unique weapons. You don't see a lot of dragon figures with these. And he holds it fairly well. It's a little, a little tricky to get that um, inside of his hand. But let's take a look at this up close. A great model. Got a pretty good sling on there. And this is cool here. I have the bayonet out right now, but if you want to take that out and put it back in like this, and then you can properly put the uh, the um, bipod up okay and we've got the scope on there and magazine so overall nice model really like these a lot all right next up let's take a look at the helmet and the head sculpt Sorry, I'm just trying to get his helmet on properly. Uh, but this looks really good overall. The helmet's got some nice detailing on there. Got some dirt. Looks nice. All right, let me try to carefully, very carefully take this helmet off without ripping the liner. This is always a challenge to do, so give me a second. All right, so there's the helmet one more time. And here is the head sculpt, which is very nicely detailed. I like the expression a lot. He's right in the middle of battle, it looks like. You can see uh, the teeth are nicely detailed. Yeah, I like the expression a lot, as well as the hair. You can definitely tell this is a 2009 model. I don't know what it is about 
the 2009 models. They had a certain look to them, almost like a glossy look. I guess different kind of paint was used, but uh, it's interesting. You can kind of date the figures just based on what the head sculpt looks like. All right, as for equipment, you can see it comes with a bandolier. So here this is, and inside are some extra magazines. I actually left a lot of them inside of the box, but I did put two of them inside of these pouches. They don't close all that well, so a lot of times it opens up, which is a little annoying. All right, he also comes with this case here for the MG. It's actually a telescope case, so let me open that up. All right, so here is a telescope for the MG. Very interesting piece. All right, and we've got a knife back here, gas mask, canister, a bread basket, mess tin, and it does come with a canteen as well, but it's really hard to get this one on. That little clip that usually is there was not there for some reason, so I'm not really sure how to get that on. So I've left that off for the time being. Um, but of course, the main attraction here is this MG Lafette mount, which is very nice. And I guess I'll take it off of his back so we can get a closer look at it. Um, whenever I get Gustav Bayer, I'll have to do a video on these two together so you can see them um, both. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I haven't actually put it into any type of position, so I'll leave it as is right now. Um, but really cool, nicely detailed. And yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to getting Gustav at some point so I can see both of these figures together. All right, well, lastly, let's take a look at the uniform. We've got his Falschmjäger smock, very nice. You can see his uniform um, underneath. We've got some insignias that you have to put on yourself. All right, and then his pants and then the boots which are also nicely detailed as always all right guys well i think that is everything to show for this figure overall a really high quality figure and i do recommend checking this one out um, but like i said earlier if you're going to get this one you kind of have to get gustav buyer as well um, kind of sneaky on dragon's part they definitely want you to get both figures, which I totally understand, though. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping I can get Gustav in the future. He is also a very tricky one to get a hold of. So uh, wish me luck in finding him. But I'm just glad I got this one at last. It took a long time. And I got him off eBay for, um, I think it was $100, so, which is a fair price considering the rarity. This one rarely um, shows up anywhere. So, All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I'll see you next time.